welcome to this edition of CarAndTruckTalk.com videos. Today we're going to be working on a GMC 7000 Heavy Duty Brakes, along with Bob from Bob's Garage, who's joining us on Car and Truck Talk videos. One drum. All those heat cracks? Mm-hmm. Not good. Not good at all. Okay. You're recording? Yeah. Oh. Good. Narrate a little for me. Oh, uh, then you had to inspect everything. The ring gear. The ABS. That, that 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 shoes right there is uh froze up. And yep. Did you get that? Alright. Alright, this is the good part. This is where we wash everything down. The chemical phase, very good. And the best chemical to use on this is, Bob? Water. Just good old fashioned water. On the back of a big gasoline oil Clean truck. all the contaminants out of there. On this side, we found actually a leaf spring that has three multiple cracks that will go to a spring shop in the next few days. All right, so we, on this case, we have to get a smaller socket due to the length of the socket to the spring housing. So I shall be back. Take off the shield and reinstall the bolt to hold your ABS line up. We don't want that ABS sensor to come on. Now that's done. I guess we're we'll gonna have to do the hard, uh, the easy way. Let me know. Now what are we doing to this? Well, we're pulling out some bushings so the brakes will run smooth because in theory, these are supposed to go in and out by your fingers mm -hmm. and lubed. And when they get jammed up like this, most of the time the guys doesn't, don't do them when they do the brakes and they get all seized. Mm -hmm. So you do a lower or upper bushing or ball joint tool and it works wonders. Very cool. And you can buy these at your local Harbor Freight for peanuts. <laughs> or your local tool supplier. There you go. This video here is just a quick overview of heavy duty brakes, but please do not try this at home. Bob is a seasoned professional with over 20 years experience and he knows what he's doing. Get the proper training before you mess with the big stuff. And now back to the video and we're going to wrap this project up carandtrucktalk.com and Bob from Bob's Garage. Truck. Some people say not to do it, but just a little bit more love on the brakes. Wire them up, 
Put them in, lock them down. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. Only other thing we have to do is put our spring hold downs on. They are pretty easy. Get yourself a nice little hammer, fingers, and, okay. and watch your fingers. Lock them in. Hit it with a hammer. And they're locked in. Done deal. And now what are we doing to it? We're cleaning up the surface so it's going to be nice application. What I like to do to make sure there's no burrs in here, run a file through, a rounded file, make sure there's no burrs. Nice, you don't have to take any metal off. You just want to make sure your burrs are nice and going so it's smooth. Use a little air and then I use grease, better known as love, for a little love in there. And that's when we will install our new parts. Gas cam. What I like to do is I like to clean them up a little bit. Just for good measure. That's my personal preference. We cleaned everything up. We greased our S-cam. We cleaned up all our dust and debris and everything else could possibly be in here. Put some new shims in and uh, lubed everything. And now we're ready to put the brakes back on. Truck here. Over 22,000 gross vehicle weight. Now there's a trick to this. You have to hook up the bottom first. Get it here. All right. Hook up the bottom spring. Use a very large adjustment adjuster. Put it in your S cam, like so. Take a peek at that. Take your adjustment adjuster. I use a 15 inch from Craftsman. Make sure your slide's in and put it just like that. Now you put the one spring on and you're good to go. So there we have it. Hard work made easier by Bob from Car and Truck Talk USA's Garage. Also Bob's Garage, of course. I saw a brand new brake drum on this vehicle. And the way to put these on, very simple. Use your legs. And go up in stages. Just put it all back together and she's rolling down the road, good as new. I want to thank Bob from Bob's Garage for joining us on CarAndTruckTalk.com videos. And I want to invite him back for more great videos from CarAndTruckTalk.com.